Okay, I'm gonna need to see a badge and a search warrant this time. I'm not letting you in. Uh, this is actually a, an old 1930s um, Sinclair gas station. We're in Kansas now, Dorothy. from 90 to 60 in an hour and a half. No Tom yet, but the rest of us are going for breakfast. Good morning. It is day four on the road. We're in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> it's all a blur. Springfield, Missouri. Stayed in an awesome uh, motel last night. The oldest uh, motor court on Route 66. Heading up now to a uh, breakfast spot called the College Cafe, it's on College Street. So, apparently this place is only open. Six to nine. Six to nine. <laughs> so, you gotta be up at Adam to get yeah. breakfast here, but apparently it's worth it, so. One of us didn't make it to breakfast. We're missing, uh, missing Tom at the moment, so. We did give him a knock, so Tom, we knocked for you, we texted you, we tried. bit of Cheech and Chong on Route 66. The original, not the, uh, the Cars version. <laughs> Former's Basement, big fans of the 70s show. College Street Cafe, super cool. Okay, we've had breakfast, take two. Good morning, America! It's time to hit the road to Sturgis. Isn't it amazing what a bit of a sleeping can do? Still on Route 66. Um, we travelled just down as far as we can. It's a little bit bitsy around here, but um, you can see uh, this is actually a, an old 1930s um, Sinclair gas station. Um, 
name of the area is uh, Paris Springs Junction. Um, so we get some footage around, it's a pretty cool place. We thought we'd stop here, a little bit outside the way, but um, too, too cool not to stop. got me out of here looking like Doc Emmett Brown. Um, so we just had a quick stop for lunch and um, unfortunately the GoPro is broken, my clamp's broken. So don't know how much more road footage we'll get, but um, we've probably got about, um, what I say? Two, three hours left. Yeah, something like that. I think we're about 2 p.m. now. I think we plan to get in about 5 p.m. Um, with a couple more stops. So we're, we're off the off the freeways now. We're on the uh, back roads um, heading sort of we scooted east at um, Kansas City. So we're uh, you just saw that on the on the footage. So we're heading north uh, Northeast northeasty all the way through back roads. So unfortunately probably some great riding footage I don't know how many times have we had to pull the GoPro out, but um, Yeah, we had a good ride this morning. We left um, we left uh, Missouri, um, Springfield, Missouri. We rode east along Route 66, sorry, west along Route 66 for a while. Um, everything I just said before about, <laughs> it's still too hot, everything before I said about east, forget, it's west, northwest. Um, we headed west along Route 66 for a while. We went to the Sinclair gas station there, um, as you would have seen. Um, yeah, that was a great, great byline. 
stayed on Route 66 for quite a while longer and then we kind of hopped on the freeway to get to this area and now we're off freeways for the rest of the day. So hopefully I get some footage. Um, we're getting into near Lincoln, Nebraska tonight, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we go, but um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. So we've pulled into Horton, um, in, we're in Kansas now, Dorothy, um, in Horton, um, we're just awesome riding since we left Kansas City, so headed west, north, west, north, um, to great roads, we're in the cornfields, but we've got rises, falls, we've got corners, flattened out a bit coming into here, uh, about two hours to go hundred and something miles so we're 170 I oh know it's less than I think 120 or so miles so we're in the home stretch um, super cool little towns that we go through although found a disused a convenience store to step in some shade and have a drink so we're gonna hit the road been able to get some footage we'll see how that goes Did have a big mishap yesterday with the trucks, which was probably kind of uh, very unlucky for them. That uh, unfortunately Sandy got a flat on her truck, and guys had to go and track down some new tyres, so they got a little bit waylaid, which was uh, which was pretty tough. But um, they they managed to get four new tyres put on and, and made it back here about eight o'clock last night. So we stayed at a friend's place last night in. Uh, in uh, just outside of Lincoln, Nebraska, um, which is very windy here. That was one of the difficulties with the ride was when we were heading, whenever we were heading west, we were just getting blown from the south, like massively really having to lean in. So it was tough going, but um, we got in, um, it, was, it was all done, it was good. So we had an amazing night last night staying with uh, friends here in uh, just outside of Lincoln. Um, they really looked after us like absolutely spoiled. So we had amazing food, uh, amazing place to stay. So massive thanks to them. Um, yeah, it was, it was uh, we were absolutely spoiled. So slept like babies, as, as Mrs. DBM said then. Um, so yeah, it was, it was, we were spoiled. So it'd be hard to top that for the rest of the trip, but we really appreciate their hospitality. So it was awesome. So, so today we're gonna kinda try and head up to, um, I think it's a State Road 20 or Route 20 um, in Northern Nebraska. We're gonna follow that directly west as long as we can go, maybe to Valentine or Chadron. And um, we'll see how we go. And we've got one more day on the road and then we're, we're hanging out in um, the Black Hills for a week. So uh, last couple of days push and the first days that the other bikes are out with us. So everyone's uh, furiously packing up at the moment. Um, getting ready to uh, see Tom at the back there and uh, Sandy's over here. So we're all uh, packing up, getting ready to hit the road. Um, hopefully the further north we get, it is gonna cool off today. Um, it's actually going to be like in the 30s in spearfish in a couple of days in the morning so so we're definitely going to see the, the heat um, relieve a bit which will be good um, and friends here gave us a new GoPro clamp so we'll see how this works out and if this one holds um, that was really lucky as well so hopefully we get a bit more footage on the bike well uh, we'll get going <laughs> To go? Oh, it's going great. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. 
bit of wind um, in uh, Nebraska, so we're permanently leaning to the left, um, and when the wind stops, we'll fall over, but uh, I don't think there's any chance of that happening anytime soon. Nebraska? The Irish capital of Nebraska. What's the, uh, still hot girls? No, it's <laughs> fucking freezing. I said nobody complained about how cold or how cold it is. We went from 90 to 60 in an hour and a half. Yeah. But I'm loving it. It's yes. great. Can't complain. It's nice. Just a little bit fresh. 30 degree drop in an hour and a half. Even, even Tom is putting long sleeves on over here. But look at you. Nice and warm? Yes. It was a chilly <laughs> ride in my short sleeves, or half sleeves, but feeling better now. There you go. So I, I cannot believe it. For the first time, we've had to stop to warm up and throw warm clothes on. Nebraska, we love you. to the bunkhouse in Valentine, Nebraska. We're uh, hanging out here, about to have a bite to eat for dinner. Um, dinner. 
steak dinner. Yeah, it seems man. like steak country. A lot of cattle around us. Yeah, there were a few cows out there, as oh, you saw in the earlier videos. Um, we thought, Tom and I thought we might, you know, this might be a bit roadhousey when we came in, so that was the, uh, we, we thought we would... Uh, Sandy was open, Patrick Swayze was going to be here. So, uh, no, I think he's expired. Uh, Patrick Swayze. Whoops. Look like <laughs> his, his younger brother. Um, yeah, but... But uh, let me give you a quick spin. It's not quite what we were expecting the bunkhouse to be. I told you when I get paid, I'll give you the rent money. Stop hassling me. I don't want any Girl Scout cookies, thank you, I've got plenty.